Welcome, movie fans. Today, we're delving into a vintage movie from way back in 1928. It's a real treat filled with laughs, surprises, and a bit of sadness. Stick around for some cool facts. Our story takes us to the 1920s when silent movies were all the rage. Picture a young guy with big dreams navigating the lively streets of New York City, trying to capture everyday moments on film. The tale unfolds with humor and heart as he tries to impress a beautiful lady. As you watch, think about any scenes that really stood out to you. Was there a moment that made you laugh or feel warm inside? Let us know in the comments. In the midst of the action, our main character takes on different roles, each one funnier than the last. Who was your favorite? The goofy friend, the unexpected hero, or someone else? Tell us who stole your heart. And here's a challenge. Do you have a special memory connected to this movie? Share your stories and experiences with us below. Get ready for a fun ride through this old tiny classic and make sure to share your thoughts and memories. Let's enjoy the cameraman together. In the world of silent film, there's a timeless gem that continues to bring joy to audiences even after almost a century. It's a story of a young man with big dreams caught up in a whirlwind of love and comedy. From the bustling streets to the quiet moments of anticipation, this film captures the essence of pure entertainment. The protagonist, a determined cameraman, finds himself on a quest for success and love. His encounters with a captivating woman named Sally lead to a series of hilarious mishaps and adventures. From awkward dates to unexpected encounters with a mischievous monkey, the movie keeps viewers laughing from start to finish. What sets this film apart is not just its humor, but also its technical brilliance. The cinematography and lighting enhance the comedic narrative, bringing each scene to life in vivid detail. And with the restoration of the film, audiences can now appreciate its visual splendor like never before. But perhaps the heart of the film lies in the performances of its stars. The leading man's impeccable timing and expressive face draw viewers in, while Sally's portrayal adds depth to the romantic subplot. Together, they create a truly unforgettable cinematic experience. In conclusion, this film is more than just a comedy. It's a masterpiece that continues to stand the test of time. Its enduring charm and captivating performances ensure its place in cinematic history, entertaining audiences for generations to come. In the old days of movies without sound, there was a star named Buster Keaton. He acted in three movies that were nominated for a big award called Best Picture. In the first two movies, he played himself, but in the third one, he played a different character. People liked him so much that he even got his face on a special stamp in 1994, along with other silent movie stars. A famous artist named Al Hirschfeld designed the stamp. When Buster was just a little kid, he had an accident with a clothes ringer that took off part of his right index finger. You can see this in some of his movies like The Garage, where he uses his left hand to hold someone's head steady while he cleans their face. Buster Keaton made a big impact in silent movies, and people still remember him today. In the golden age of cinema, there was a star who shone brightly, captivating audiences with his charm and talent. He appeared in many memorable movies, leaving a mark on the history of film. One of his notable works, made in 1928, still holds a special place in the hearts of movie buffs today. This particular film, cherished by the National Film Registry since 2005, not only showcases his acting skills, but also reveals his knack behind the camera. What's interesting is that in one scene set by a pool, you can catch glimpses of his own family members, his younger brother and sister. Their brief appearances add a personal touch to the movie, making it even more meaningful. It's amazing how family ties can enhance the magic of storytelling on screen. This film is a reminder of the impact this star had on the world of cinema and why his work remains cherished by audiences worldwide. Buster Keaton was a big deal in old movies, ranking high on a list of famous actors by the American Film Institute. He made this short movie called The Railroader in 1965, which came out just before another one called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum in 1966. Even though The Railroader was short, it's still remembered as an important part of Keaton's work. In one of his movies called The Cameraman, there's this scene where Edward Brophy, who wasn't really an actor, gets pulled into a funny moment. Buster Keaton thought it up on the spot, and it turned out to be a big hit. This scene helped kickstart Brophy's 30-year career in comedy. This movie, made without much planning, shows how good Keaton was at creating memorable scenes out of nowhere. It's a reminder of the talent both Keaton and Brophy had. In the world of comedy films, there's one gem that shines bright as a teaching tool for aspiring directors, and producers. It features Buster Keaton, a legendary comedian often called the Great Stone Face, showcasing his talent in a role that became a classic example of humor at MGM. 
Caden's knack for perfect timing and his ability to keep a straight face earned him the nickname The Great Stone Face. In this particular film called The Cameraman, he didn't stick strictly to the script. He improvised in just two scenes, one involving a baseball and another with a piggy bank. Originally, the script had a different scenario for Keaton's character's first date involving torn trousers and an awkward attempt at fixing them with chewing gum. But as was typical of Keaton's creativity, he turned it into something unforgettable, the scene by the swimming pool. Overall, The Cameraman serves not only as a comedy classic, but also as a testament to Keaton's unique comedic talent. It's a prime example of how improvisation and timing can make a film truly memorable for generations to come. In an unexpected twist of fate, Buster Keaton made a spontaneous decision that changed the course of Edward Brophy's career forever. This choice led to a series of events where laughter played a central role, connecting different characters and scenes in the film The Cameraman. One memorable moment involved a mysterious woman in a white swimsuit laughing uncontrollably as she witnessed Keaton's comedic antics. Her laughter spread joy and added to the hilarity of the scene. In another scene, Keaton visited Sally's rooming house where an older woman read aloud an article about prohibition from an old issue of The New Yorker. This added an interesting twist to the narrative, hinting at hidden connections between characters. These scenes, though seemingly unrelated, come together to form the heart of the cameraman. Through laughter and chance encounters, the characters' stories intertwine, shaping their destinies in unexpected ways. In the end, The Cameraman is not just a film, but a journey through serendipity and laughter, capturing the essence of a bygone era. In the late 1920s, The Cameraman marked a significant turn in the career of Buster Keaton. Before this, Keaton was one of the top comedians in silent era Hollywood, alongside Charles Chaplin and Harold Lloyd. Unlike Chaplin and Lloyd, who retained ownership of their films, Keaton made the decision to sell his studio and films to MGM. This move led to financial and personal challenges for Keaton, while Chaplin and Lloyd prospered. The Cameraman was the first film of Keaton's two-year deal with MGM, signed in January 1928. The deal required two films per year and made Keaton the third highest paid actor at MGM. Despite the financial gain, Keaton later regretted the deal, referring to it as the worst mistake of my life. Prior to his MGM contract, Keaton gained stage experience at Burbank Theater in Los Angeles, 